Hey there, this is the next video in our series about Pivotal Cloud Foundry tutorial. In the previous video, I have explained you what is blue-green deployment all about. In this video, we are going to understand how PCA provides facility for the blue-green deployment in very few simple steps, right? So let's go ahead and see what we have to do to perform the blue-green de deployment with PCA. Let's go ahead and see what we have to do for the blue-green deployment on PCF environment. Here, First, we will understand this theoretically, how it is going to work and then we will move to demo part, okay. So, this is the blue version which is in production right now and this is the green version. This is the to be deployed, right, to be deployed. There were some changes, some change requests, some new features which we are going to implement in this one, which ha this is supposed to replace this blue version one. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. When your blue version one is in production, it has some route, means it has some URL through which you are accessing this, right? So what is the step number two? This is running properly and all good. Deploy version two and this will get route two. It will get some URL through which you can access it, right? Now what you have to do, map R1 to green version two. So now now you have to map this R1. This is as of now it is access. When you hit this URL, it is accessing blue version one. Next step is you have to map this R1 to this version also. Now R1 and R2 both are accessing green version two. So R2 is belongs to green version, but R1 belongs to blue version and green version both. Right? So next step unmap r2 from green version 2 so existing version r2 unmap this one with the green version right so that only r1 is able to access both the versions right so when you access when you hit this route this url it is going to hit blue version 1 and green version 2 both right so this is the way so next question comes how the traffic is divided between the existing version and the old version so as of now, we are taking only one instance in production. So we have only one instance. So 100% of the requests that are coming to R1 going to blue version 1. Now that 100% will be divided into two because we have two instances which are serving R1. 50% of the requests will be served here. 50% will be here, right? You have unmap R2. So R2 is no longer available, right? Only R1 is there. Unmap R1 from blue version 1. Test the things and observe the behavior of the green version. If it is going as expected and there is no, no problem, go ahead and unmap the R1 with the blue version, right? So now there is only one route one, which is the existing one. And there is no URL which can access blue version one. Only green version one two is accessible with the R1, right? So without any downtime, we have successfully replaced the bit this instance with this one all right in simple steps right now r1 will send requests to green version 2 only so this is the same thing we are going to understand through example so before moving ahead let's understand how the traffic is divided into both of these right so suppose your production version instances have four instances right so there is a b1 b2 b3 b4 your services service has four instances and you have new version to be deployed what you will do i am i am naming it as g1 right it is to be deployed so when it has some url and suppose 100 requests are coming so 100 requested in pcf environment that number of requests is to be served by each instance is divided on based on the number of instances so as of now we have four instances so 25 25 25 25 each instance will get 25 percent of the request when you have deployed one more than version and map this version with this one so now you have total five instances 100 will be divided into five means 20 now 25 not 20 percent 20 percent request this one and 20 percent will go to here and with this 20% of request, you have to observe the behavior of this new version to be deployed. If everything okay, subsequently you have to stop 
you have to reduce this inst kill this instance at the same time increase this one this instance kill this one increase one more instance of this kill this one and increase one more instance now four instances you have now and kill this instance one also so now whenever any request is coming to r1 it is not going to here it will go to the new version this one right so now all the requests will be divided here 25 25 25 and 25 very simple right so let's go ahead and see in uh, demo how we can do this right so this is the command line i already have logged into so you have to focus on your blue version one right so, so blue version i already have in, in, uh, deployed in the production there is only one instance of this running and i have to replace it with the new version right so let's go ahead and see what it has so this blue version one has two urls ip address and hello as you have seen if you're following the previous videos this is the same one i just have changed the color the endpoint that it is uh, returning so just to make things very clear uh, the name that blue green is there so one more thing to notice blue green is just a name that they have given blue is a for the existing running production and green to be deployed right so you can name it any color that doesn't make anything uh, specific right so this is the thing so when we will re replace this blue version with the green version this color is going to do going to change to green version so because we have done so let me show you the code so this is the hello endpoint that i have and this is the hello pcf and i have uh, given it the html uh, tag so that the color version is coming so i have given is s2 align center clean so existing version is blue one uh, to be deployed i am going to deploy this one so i have named it green so if i access this uh, the color will be green right so let's go ahead and do this okay so everything all right so we have to push first the green version push the uh, green version also so that it gets some uh, url right so go ahead and do that so what i have to do we are here right manifest demo we are pushing with the help of manifest right so let me show you this also we have green version 2 and green version 2 right so we have i have already prepared the jar jar for this right so go ahead and push this one right so i have to open the command prompt here right so cf push if you have any doubt with this one uh, what's the previous video where i have shown you how to push with the manifest ml right so it is going to push the this green version 2 and going to give me the url so that i can access it right so it is pushing that one and uploading creating the droplet processing with the it is processing the file with the build pack and all those stuffs right so it is downloading the packages and after doing all the internal stuffs it is going to start the application for us prerequisite of this video is uh, the previous videos where i have explained you about the routes what are the routes and how how can you play around with the routes uh, right and how to push the applications and what is the blue green deployment all about it is basically without any downtime you are replacing the existing version with the new version of that right and rollback is also pretty quick so it is running now so if i go to cf apps i will be able to see the new version deployed blue version 1 and green version 2 is also running so now they have different urls right so if i go ahead and access this one hello so it is giving you the hello pcf right so if i hit the another this one ip address it will be green one right so this this is the same thing now i have to this this same url when i hit this blue version one this should change to hello pcf so that instance it changed right so go ahead how we can do that right so remember the diagram that i explained to you so i'll explain with that one so this is the blue version that is in running state right so i'm this has r1 and this has r2 what i am going to do i am going to map this r1 with this one with this instance so that i can hit the, both of these instances right so how we can do that cf map route before mapping a route how you can use this how you can use the map uh, map route 
command you can see from here so let me hit that one cfl so this is the way how i have to do it do it right so cf map route app name which uh, you want to map one so what i want to map green version this one right green version 2 copy this and paste it here cf map route and app name then domain you have to give what is the domain cf apps dot io and then you have to mention host name what url you want to give this instance right so what url i want to give this one blue version right give it the blue version blue version so what we are doing green version 2 we are mapping this with this url right cf map route uh, application name which instance you want to map domain name and the host name right so go ahead and hit this okay it is there so if i go ahead and see the detail of this one green version 2 cf app so it will have now two routes green version as well as blue version yeah so you notice here earlier when we pushed the application it had only green version 2 now blue version is also pointing at this place so if i go ahead and hit this one so now blue version is at two places as this is the r1 now i can access when i hit the r1 i'll be able to get the ur written from here also from here also go ahead and see this so this is the blue version right go ahead and refresh this right this is the blue one and next b yeah next we got it green one right blue one and hit it again green one right so subsequently we are getting blue green blue green right so if i go to ip address also it will be changed to color green one right so 50 percent of the requests are being served to blue one and green one subsequently right so with this url now this step is working fine we are at this one number three right r1 itself what we have to do now map unmap this r2 with the green version so that no other url is being map, mapped to the green version so this is this step is not mandatory but to be on the safe side we have to do it right cf unmap route uh, what is the next one um, uh, from where i want to unmap green where is this copy this stuff from here green version 2 cf apps dot io and host name which one i want to unmap i want to unmap this green version 2 so what will happen after this with this green version i am able to access the urls now right when i execute this step unmap i won't be able to hit this url because this will no longer be pointing to the green version instance right so go ahead and do this yeah it's done so if i hit this again yeah this route doesn't exist right so blue version and green version both now are accessible only this url so now go ahead and see the observe whatever uh, changes that you are posting that is coming or not so in my case it is coming so i was expecting that green is coming so it is coming properly right so what is the next step so i have to unmap this r1 with the blue version so that r1 is only pointing to the r1 so i have done this one and going to do this one fifth one right so this is the same command unmap route but uh, i have to do some changes now we are making the changes in the blue version so blue version 1 this is the name of the domain and what is the host name blue version 1 so go ahead and do this okay all right so blue version one is now so if i go ahead and see the 
cf app loop version 1 it won't have any routes at the right so routes routes are empty here so the current existing version which we wanted to replace has no url so it won't be able to it won't be accessible from anywhere right so if i access this blue version one i will be able i will be getting only green version right only green so any any number of time you refresh this only green will be appearing right this is the blue one only green so our new new version is in production now right so if i go ahead and see the cf apps it will list all the apps now blue version has no urls green version has only this url right so uh, if i come to steps here so unmap this one and now r1 will send request to green version 2 right so now i can go ahead for the cleanup part i can stop the blue version one right stop this version and delete this one in real time scenarios you would be having cf uh, delete blue version one right yes delete it so because we no longer need it right cf apps yeah so we are cleaned up here so blue version one this will be pointing to the current running version right so in the actual scenarios you will be having different uh, number of instances uh, in the production version so you can follow this one right so you have multiple instances so subsequently stop one instance increase the one instance of the to be deployed version and subsequently uh, proceed to the 100% uh, request routing to the new version and clean up this one right so i hope you understood this at any point of steps you feel any issue you put that in comment section i will be happy to help you out right so for the other videos you can go ahead and see the playlist over here you can see the source code and all those steps here i have also uh, i'm also pushing all the things manifest blue green version jar you can use the same jar if you want to experiment with right this is the official page that you can go ahead and see more about it right so in the next video i'm going to explain you uh, even more easy uh, how you can perform the blue green version with the pcf dashboard right so dashboard i am showing you from the first video right so with that one i'll be able to do it more quickly right so in in that case i do not have to remember any command for routing map and all those stuff right so till then you play around with this pcf cli and all those stuff uh, i'll see you in the next video take care bye bye